Cubs head coach Tina McDavid Matera and uh, senior forward Annie Arts. Coach, do you want to start us off with a comment about today's game and then we'll open up to questions. Um, I, I mean, it was a real battle. I think both teams really came to play and from looking at the stat sheet, it was pretty even and, and both teams had their chances and unfortunately one team had to lose. Coach, I thought I get from a game plan perspective to hold the team down like that regardless of conditions, uh, but how about just you, your girls were able to, uh, I, guess, I think, do what you wanted them to do, particularly defensively. Uh, they were really take, kind of taken out of their character today. Um, we, you know, we talked about how potent the offense was on Messiah and how if, if, they, if we had the ball on our offensive end, they wouldn't have a chance to score. So we, we didn't hold back defensively. We tried to get it and get it up to our forwards, and I think we did a really good job with that. And, and they have some great players, and we were able to, I think, take them out of their game a little bit. Mm -hmm. Uh, Any uh, describe you know, your journey to even get back on the field. Uh, just describe that. Uh, you, know, you probably could have pulled the plug and just said, I'm done, but you didn't. Yeah, um, I mean, it's been an incredible year, especially having to miss last season due to injury. Um, I think, you know, that actually helped coming back, um, just wanting it that much more. I think um, our whole team has worked so hard this season to get here and um, it was a well fought battle. Really proud of our whole team. Um, but yeah, it's been an incredible journey. Uh, obviously, stings, but now, but uh, it's been a great four years. Mm -hmm. Annie, what is the mindset of players, not just yourself? You don't, you don't really get into a shootout in, in the regular season. You may practice it, but uh, how about from that perspective to do that after such a long and grinding day? Yeah, um, I mean, got to tip your hat to the Messiah goalie. She did a great job. Really put out a lot of pressure on our team. Um, shootouts are tough. Um, we practice them all the time at practice, but obviously it's different come game day. Um, and you know, obviously would have wished <laughs> would have gone differently, but um, we gave it our all, and they did a great job. The goalie did a great job defensively. And coach, it seemed like maybe your best chances would come in the overtimes. You kill off uh, a green card situation. Uh, uh, how about that perspective? You had a, a number of penalty corners, even with them down a man that might have been the window there. Right. I think, I mean, we tried to just slow it down and maybe ice the ball a few times, getting it down their end to give us some time off the clock. And, and we had our chance. To, I mean, I think we both, team had a lot of, both teams had a lot of good chances, and it was really kind of a game of inches. And, and I think the game could have gone either way. So, I mean, it was unfortunate that we couldn't capitalize on our corners. And what, what, do you, what will you remember about, about this bunch? They are so funny. I mean, we we just they're bad singers, but they love to sing. Um, they're a really fun group. They work hard. I think this was the most unselfish team I've ever had. Like they were really playing for each other, and and you could tell they were out there for the girl next to them every single day. And it was they have little buddies on the team. Their sister and yesterday uh, they write something on the inside of their wrist before each game, and they had written their sister's name to play for her. And I just I was like so touched by that because we talk all season about like play for the team, play for each other, and they really understood it and did it this year. Thank you, ladies. Thank you.